In the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, by Kaha Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole filet. <clears throat> Just wanted to go live real quick. I got my second phone. I can, I can read scripture from my other phone and record from my other phone. Let's get, let's get some scripture. Let's, let's start off with 2nd Ages 15th chapter. We're going to take it from the top. <clears throat> This is the Lord speaking. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See, the words of the Bible is faithful and true. And the Bible is, is laws and prophecy. And we're living in the day that all the prophecies of the Bible are being fulfilled. You got major prophets yet to be fulfilled. You got Jacob's trouble, Mark of the Beast. You got the greatest prophecy of your house of return coming back. But this is a command. Speak thou into the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Prophecy means something that's that is spoken of that's that's going to happen in the future which i will put in the, in thy mouth the lord's gonna put the words he's gonna put the uh, spirit and the truth and what to say in the mouth of those that believe in yahweh by shem yahweh shah second age 15 chapter let's get some more third verse fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that's talking about don't let those that don't believe in what you believe in, in this 100% true, don't let their disbelief affect you. And don't let it trouble you. Keep in the faith, stay strong. Matter of fact, if someone that don't believe what you that don't, don't believe in this 100% true, it should boost your spirit, it should boost your faith even more. Second there is 15, chapter 3rd verse. Let not the incredulity. Incredulity means a person that don't believe. Lack of faith. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Don't let it get to you. Because it's prophesied that you're going you're gonna to come across those that are uh, going to uh, be scorners and going to be mockers. And don't let that affect you. Second there is 15, chapter 3rd verse. And then, and then the Lord go over and say, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's the reassurance. See, the Lord reassure you if you don't let, let, let the mockers and the scorners affect you. He reassure you. He reassure you, the believer, that, okay, they mocking you, they scorning you, but those, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. It's that simple. You gotta be like, well, they can talk all the shit they want, but the Lord gonna kill them, you know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna destroy them. That's the kind of mindset you gotta have when you believe in this, when you believe in this truth. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And it goes on to say in the fifth verse, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring See, this is this also talking about the anger of the Lord. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world. And what, what's, the, what's the plague going to be? The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Hmm, that's a lot. <clears throat> See, the Lord say, if you don't let them incredulity get to you, it'd be like, okay, okay then, what the? Okay, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, and that's how they're going to die. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah says, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, that's one. Famine, that's another one. And then death and destruction, not just death, just death and destruction. And you don't want to fall into the hand of the Lord because he's the king of terror. He could be your worst nightmare. It's the second ages. Second Edges, 15th chapter. 
started from the top, we have the fifth verse. And we're going to the sixth verse. He's going he to explain why. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See, wickedness has polluted the whole earth. Wickedness has polluted the whole earth. You look at TV, you listen to radio, you look in the world, see people walking. You look at the walking dead. And uh, wickedness has polluted the whole world, the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. See, the Lord telling you right here that all the prophecies of the Bible are being fulfilled today. If you know it, if you've been given the faith, the gift of faith. And you can see in the world what's happening. That's second age fifteen chapter. Let's just get some more. Seven chapter, therefore saith the Lord. See the Lord is saying all of this. And it's coming through the spirit of the apostles and great millstone and the Akim the Brotherhood and all the camps. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord is saying all of this through the scriptures. The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh means he is, he exists. Yahweh Shah, his only begotten son. It means he is the savior, he is the deliverer because he's coming back to deliver his elect and gather his elect. Therefore saith the Lord. Let's get some more. Second Ages 15 chapter 8th verse I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit see the Lord is saying he's going to speak through the prophets he, he's not going to hold his tongue he's going to speak through the prophets the servants and the men of great millstone the elders and apostles the brotherhood the occupant he's not going to hold his tongue no more for speaking about their wickedness and then it goes and say which they profanely commit so you got a lot of people I heard that's committing a lot of wickedness and not even uh, shame about it and then he goes on to say neither will I suffer them in those things meaning he's not gonna he's not gonna stop he's not gonna stop watching I mean, he's not gonna be long suffering. He's he's he go, he's he's, ever, he's angry at the wicked every day. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. And then it goes on to say, "Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me." You see the men of the hot, the men of the. Uh, Man of the Lord is sighing and crying to Yahweh by Shimon Hamasha every day. It says, The innocent and the righteous blood cryeth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. See, oppression make a wise man mad. <clears throat> and through, the, through YouTube, the men of the Lord is sighing and crying every day. It said the just complain continually. This is a this is a divine righteous complaint. When the men of the Lord see wickedness and they sign cry to the Lord about it. It's a righteous complaint. It's a just it, it just it's a just complaint. And it's done continually through the spirit. And the Lord hears the cry of the righteous. And he's coming back to put all of the, the, the races in captivity. He's coming back to put all the races in captivity, all the nations, because of their wickedness. And that's thus saith the Lord. He's not going to hold his tongue no more. And it says that in the scripture, I will, I will hold my tongue no more. That's the Lord saying that. He's angry with the wicked every day. I pray that the lesson be edifying to the hopeful lay and those seeking the truth shall be.